What's some advice your mom gave you? One thing my mom told me is to not sweat the small stuff. My mom told me to major in medicine and to join some serious college clubs to boost my resume. And now I'm an English major and I'm here. My mom once told me that I'm too boring and I should go to parties more and drink and do drugs. How's that worked out for you? I haven't done it. She likes to quote her Scottish grandmother who said, it is what it is, lassie. Solid advice. <laughs> I think that's all I have. So this one time when I was a kid, I was really upset about people calling me short because I'm short. And my mom told me that great things come in small packages. Thank you. Ryan, don't touch that. Ryan, don't put that in your mouth. Ryan, stop doing that. Ryan, hey, hey, Ryan, stop it. My stepmom always told me, it ain't fun if it ain't on fire. It's, it's fire. So. Fire, fire, fire. I love your stepmom. Don't go into musical theater as a career. I'm just telling Olivia that beautiful women should always speak their minds. Yeah. And that's what my mom always told me. <laughs> <laughs> um, my mom taught me to always have a beach themed bathroom. She didn't explicitly say it, but it was just definitely implied. So we had like five of them across different houses. Come here, come here, come here. Love your moms every day, or they will come and probably beat you up. Yeah. This is it. So what's the advice your mom gave you? All right. My mom said to follow your dreams and to watch Fridays Live and live, live from Studio C. It's Fridays Live. We love you, Mom. Live from Studio C, it's Fridays Live. Starring Aiden Wickham. Ryan Humanick. Jack Lynn Scott. Mia Leland. Bree Rydell. Lily Sellers. Ava Pasika. Felix Schmidt. Matthew Campbell. Nessa Ladon. Abby Lance. Sam Gottfried. Elena Hess. Sam Brandis. With A News host, Chance Lane. Hosted by Lauren Key. With guest host, Deja Dewberry and Larissa Strong. And musical guest, New Chords on the Block. With head writer, Ryan Humanick. Produced by Olivia Freeland and Lydia Smith. Directed by Allison Irie. Live from Studio C, it's Fridays Live. With your host, Lauren Key. thing to happen to adolescent brains since Spongebob. <laughs> <laughs> For those tuning in, it is Mom's Weekend here in Athens. Moms? Yeah. In the building? <laughs> Moms do this weird thing where they tell you to be home by 8 until you're like 17, but after that, they just want to take you to gross, sticky college bars. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, Mom's Weekend is cool and all. I just think that there's other things to do in Athens, like coming to see a sketch comedy show. Yeah. <laughs> or going to see a musical. Oh, hey, Why, would <laughs> Why would you take your mom to a musical? You can't even talk. Good to see you too, Deja. 
<laughs> yeah, that's the point. Plus, you get to see me and Lauren on stage again. Oh, we get it. You're in a musical, but it's not like it's Broadway or anything. <laughs> so, it'll still be fun. No, it won't. Musicals are the scourge of the earth. I wish Lin-Manuel Miranda would come here to Athens so I could hit him with my car. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Deja, maybe you should just come to the show tomorrow night. You know, you might change your mind. And be part of your cult? No siree. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. We've got a great show for you tonight. New chords on the block are here. Maybe we should dance. Yeah, no, you're, your right, you're right, you're right. Okay, ready? Ready? Yeah. One, two. We go, go together, together like ram 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 ding 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 dong. Stay tuned, <laughs> ever. <laughs> Hi, I'm Aiden, and welcome to Beyond the Bricks, where we take you outside the bricks of Studio C and into the bricks of about every other building on campus. Today we have Larissa, Deja. Yeah, and let's get to know them. What do you guys do on campus? I'm in acapella, and I am in a show called Grease. Come see it on Saturday and Sunday. I'm a tour guide, peer mentor. You are no longer a peer mentor. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> I am a peer mentor, um, also a tour guide. I'm in Sigma Delta Pi, which is a Spanish fraternity here on campus. Yeah. You studied abroad? I did study abroad. Where'd you go? Um, Costa Rica. Oh. The tour guide closet. Oh, this uh, looks roomy. The grossest place on campus. Hella book bags. Umbrellas. Larissa's mystery water. Sorry. Sometimes there's snacks. What's your favorite album of Chipmunk? <laughs> oh, that's so true. I love this. Simon. That's so valid. What about you? Theodore. It's Theodore. obviously Theodore. Theodore okay. is the correct answer. Not true. You know your album, you're just a face. You're a psycho person. <laughs> Ew, I look gross today. No, you look beautiful. I know. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, <laughs> that's true, that's true. This um, is Nate. They work for undergraduate admissions. I do, I am the moment. That's Pumpkin. Everyone is Kanaf. Where did you get a pumpkin sticker from? The people tabling outside for a student senate and for the unity ticket. You can get a donut too. <gasps> this is, this is what the real one. interview is. Like, I'm funding this right now. Um. <laughs> so if it's good, it's all because of me. Biggest fear. Okay, then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, drowning. I don't like spiders, so. That's are you pro music and are you anti music? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Where does that stem? Um, I don't like Larissa. <laughs> <laughs> well, then, why are you pro music? She does it for joy, and I don't like when Larissa's happy. That's my. Happy. That's my. The thing I hate the most in home this planet. See? Yep. I am with you. Yeah. Big are you indifferent? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't like feet. <laughs> Did you guys have any questions? <laughs> Bye, guys. Tia. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. There's no apostrophe. <laughs> True. The worst thing she can do is say no. I know, I know. I just don't want to come off as a creep. You won't. Just go talk to her. Oh, Jesus. Uh, hey, uh, I saw you across the room and I thought you were cute. Uh, my name's Todd. I'm Darcy. Uh, so you having a good time? Yeah, I guess. Oh, uh, sorry. I'll, I'll leave you be. No, it's not that. It's just I hate knowing that I will forever be my father's daughter. Uh, oh. <laughs> His anger runs through me every day. His actions have affected me in every way. Even when I try to distance myself from him, at the end of the day, I am my father's daughter. I'm gonna go. <laughs> so, how'd it go? Uh, fine. She just talked about. She just talked about her dad. Ew, daddy issues. <laughs> hey, what about her? Oh, she's pretty. Uh, fine, I'll go. Hey, uh, I'm Todd. I'm Jane. So you like dancing? Not really. It's more of a performance. A performance? Yes, a woman. Oh no. She's <laughs> always watching herself, almost like looking at herself in the mirror. This starts from when she's very young, like when she's walking across the room or crying at her father's funeral. She can't help but picture herself doing these things. She's trying to constantly think about how she looks at others, especially men, and uh, this.
sex becomes a big part of her identity. Instead of just being herself, she's focused on how others see her. This idea of being watched and watching herself becomes a big part of her life. Uh, seems like you got a lot on your mind. Uh, I'll just dip. <laughs> I don't know what I keep doing wrong. Dude, I'll show you. Just watch the master. Fine. Hi, I'm Matt. Hi, I'm Emily. Nice to meet you. Are you by chance tired? I mean, kind of. Because you've been running through my mind all day. <laughs> Good one. No, what's been running through my mind is realizing that we often suffer more in our imagination than in reality. And, and despite, despite the, the hardships, hardships in life, life love, love abounds, and it can always, always get, get better. better. What did I do wrong? <laughs>
Your Honor, as proven prior, Merlinda here. That's Merlinda the Magnificent to you, you raging rapscallion! I'm one of the greatest, most reviled wizard in the kingdom of Valtraxia. <laughs> Yes, well, we're in Akron, not Valtraxia, so <laughs> please sit down and shut it. As I was saying, Merlinda the Magnificent is of sound mind and has chosen to actively endanger people's lives, causing car crashes, mild to dangerous injuries, and general chaos. As proof, I'd like to call my next witness, Dweevis Dinkley. <laughs> uh, excuse me, young man, but aren't you a little young to be smoking? Hello. <laughs> My name is Dweevis Dwinkwe, and I have been horribly wronged by Mulwindo the Magnificent. You see, I cut her in wine at the Dwy Queenos, and her ang in, in her angle, she turned me into a child. And really, how old are you, Mr. Dwink Dinkley? 47. <laughs> Objection, ye honor! Me violin horrid master Melinda the Magnificent did not mean to turn him into a wheat child! It's true! You see, she attempted to cast a spell of instant death, but she messed it up! So you're telling me this was an attempted murder? Oh yes, me master is so cunning and cruel in that way! Oh okay, well, th this changes things. If I may present some evidence to the court. You may. This is the mock-up <laughs> plan found in Merlinda the Magnificent's attic. Okay, well, if me master had a genius and compelling plan such as zapping that wench in, or, <laughs> that wretched hag of a neighbor, Miss Croquette, would be stored in a super cool and epic wizard study, not some attic. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> yes, well, speaking of that old lady, I'd like to call her to the stand. Okay, young lady. <laughs> uh, I don't know what's going on in here, but y you can't be smoking. Up yours, old man. <laughs> Now, Miss Croquette, would you mind telling us what happened? <laughs> this creepy old hag got mad at me when I came over and asked to borrow sugar. I think she tried to electrocute me or something. Silence, you foul wretch! You will know my might. Oh, I didn't know. You must keep your composure! <laughs> the thing is, her spell backfired, and here I am, young again. So... Both victims became children. Well, you see... Oh, if I may be so permitted, my lord. You may. Me master, as powerful as she is, she can, uh... uh how do I put this? She, uh, um, uh... She's uh, a hack wizard! Precisely. <laughs> Merlinda the Magnificent has only caused so much damage by accidentally turning people into children over and over again. Well, if you wretched racks things think I am such a hack, let me show you another spell. Or what? Are you going to turn me into a baby? Recount such a <laughs> rabid insult now! Master, please! Bibbity bobbity boop! I cast gun to shoot at you! Mommy! <laughs> <laughs> Think of all that you've been training for, all the years, all the pain, suffering. Oh, oh, you're gonna get him this time. Oh, I feel it now. Oh, here I come. I'm gonna get you. You got it. You're almost there. You're almost there. Get, get there. Get there. Get now. <laughs> What's up, gamers? I'm Axel Pixel, the computer wizard. Wow, the bell. Hala ba bell, ba 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 da ba. Wiggy wiggy wig now. When I was a young Axel Pixel computer wizard. When I first joined the game design program, it was because I desperately wanted a new Skylanders game. But now that I've known my fellow peers, I've realized my greater mission, my ultimate invention, 
game. It's like regular gaming, but for the real one. You know who you are, and so do I. Have you ever consumed a specific piece of media that gave you so much serotonin that it permanently altered the course of your life? I know I have, and I have the 100% epic gamer guarantee that gaming software is all of that. 100% increase your time waking up and looking at the mirror having an existential crisis. Epic gamer style. This console still in early development, so I don't got any reviews yet. But if you want to be the first to try gaming by me, XL Pixel Computer wizard that they'll do. Pre-order now, although I won't be paying your therapist. News. Truth. Facts. Live from Studio C. Real news. Fake news. Tomorrow's news today. News you can trust. 24-hour, non-stop coverage. You're A News. A News with Chance Lane. Good evening and welcome to this week's edition of A News. I'm your host, Chance Lane. And I'm your other host, Deja Dewberry. King Charles made his first major public appearance in over a month for Easter this past weekend. Looks like we're going to have another two weeks of winter. <laughs> Last week, the information of over 70 million AT&T customers was leaked. If you see social security number 5025509 out there, please bring it back to me. <laughs> Lego recently asked a police department in California to stop using its characters' heads to obscure the faces of people who have been arrested. The company alleges that it makes them look too bricked up. <laughs> Puxatani Phil is now a father. He and his wife Phyllis recently welcomed two babies into their home. When asked to comment, all Phil said was <laughs> People across the U.S. are excited for next week's eclipse on April 8th. Here to comment is everyone's favorite satellite, the moon. Moon, are you excited about the eclipse? Hell yeah. I've been looking forward to this for the past seven years. I know. I'm excited to see you. Oh, stop. <laughs> Some people are saying this will be the largest migration of people in the U.S. all year. You know it. Speaking of, do you mind if I practice, uh... Blocking some light. What? You know, like throwing some shade. Oh, sure. Go for it. Great. Put these on. The truth can be blinding sometimes. They always revolve around me when I do this, saying stuff in my DMs like, I want to be tidally locked in your arms, or you're my favorite celestial body, or <laughs> moon me. But the next day they're gone and out talking about their science bros about Uranus and how they planted the flag. Then hit up Mars. What? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> Don't get me started on the sun. You'd think he's a total ray of sunshine and that he lights up the room, but that guy's a total jerk. Really? Are you throwing shade at me? <laughs> you better believe. Gotta get ready for the big day. Oh, you are so gonna get it. We'll let them settle the later. Let's move on to Ryan for this week's edition of Top 5. <laughs> Top five moms. Number five, we got Mrs. Flynn Fletcher from Phineas and Ferb. Number four, we got Mrs. Incredible from The Incredibles. Number three, we got the mom from, what is that movie, Inside Out. Yeah. Number two, I'm going to say Timmy Turner's mom from Fairly Odd Parents. And number one, my mom. Oh. Wow, what a guy. <laughs> it looks like we're all out of time for A News this week. I've been Chance Lane. And I've been Deja Dewberry, signing off. This is Lily and I. This is Lily and Mia on the streets for street walking, rather than the elevator. Oh, yeah. New this time. <laughs> we know how to work a microphone now. Oh, it's all over. <laughs> and now we have to go torment strangers. So what's your name?
What brings you here today? Sorry. Piper, do you, do you have any comments about, uh, I don't know, maybe the social climate of today? So my roommate, my freshman year, um, she was a part of this group, and she actually works on The Bachelor now. Oh! Yeah. Right, we'll keep our eyes peeled for any. Stephanie is working on The Bachelor, graduated 2022. Sure. What are your names? Um, I'm Sarah. I'm Annie. Olivia Palermo. My name's Lainey. I'm Zoe. Zoe, it's so nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm Mia. This is. I'm Lily. Oh my gosh, I've never Hello. Met before. Never. Since it's mom's weekend, I could you do an impression of your mom's? Oh God. Liv, I told you I wanted you home by midnight. Um. No. She was like, ah. her laugh. She laughs like a witch. So she's like. And she's always like, Lainey Joe. My middle name's Joe. She's always like, Lainey Joe. Give a shout out to your mom. I love my mother. Shout out my mother, Lisa. <laughs> shout out to Karen. Shout out, mom. I love you. Shout out to Shelly. We love her. She's a queen. Thank you, Shelly. You guys saw Bigfoot in the woods, like for real. Like actually for real. Okay, like like for real. Oh, I'd believe. I would believe. 100%, sure. yes. Would, would you tell the news, though? Because that could get him in trouble. No. Probably not. I would probably... I'd tell everyone else I do, though. I think she'd be like, wow, he's got big feet. Yeah, I think she'd try to convince everyone in our family that he was real. She would need everyone on the same page as her, for sure. She's really nosy and would, like, try to, like, at least, like, snap a pic, and then I think she'd run away. She'd try to be, like all big and bad about it but she she'd be scared bigfoot if you're out there these people will introduce you to allies while protecting you from the media so this is your chance to speak up so we stop this for a second because there's this like a guy that's been following he's us. in like a clam costume <laughs> we saw him down over there like over by the courthouse he's like down there if you want to see him. dude oh my god that's literally him hello Oh my god, he's a clam. Yeah. Do you have any purpose to be following us? Like, see, I'm trying to be a successful serial killer. I'm trying to get my own documentary series, my own podcast. Are you making the podcast or like, are you the killer? I'm the killer. I'm, I'm the clam. Help like us. the killer that Wendy Williams talks about? You know, the killer. Yeah. We found him. The killer. It's the killer that Wendy Williams has been talking about. I don't want to be right next to him. Okay, well, I don't want to be right next to him. It's me and Lily on the street wearing shoes to protect our feet, saying goodbye because it's the end. We have ligaments and joints to bend. Oh. <laughs> this has been Mia and Lily on the street. Bye. It, 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 oh. <laughs>
I'm so hungry. Do you hear my stomach growling? Yeah, bro, that was loud. Yeah. Honestly, me too. I kind of wish I had a snack right now. Yeah. OMG, I forgot I packed my muffin. Your muffin? Yeah, my chocolate chip muffin. Hell yeah, I did. Where? There's a chocolate chip muffin in my back pocket. There's a chocolate chip muffin in my back pocket. Oh yeah. There's a chocolate chip muffin in my back pocket. There's a chocolate chip muffin in my back pocket. Oh yeah. There's a chocolate chip muffin and I'm going to eat it. There's a rumble in my tummy and I'm going to feed it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. C H O C L I T. C H O C L I T. I can't wait. For my chocolate chip muffin. It comes fresh right out of the oven. Whoa, whoa! Bro, your muffin. <sighs> my chocolate chip muffin has been flattened. Wait, bro, it kind of looks like a pancake. You're so right. Chocolate chip pancake and I'm gonna rock it. Chocolate chip pancake and I'm gonna try it. Oh yeah. P A N C A K E. P A N C A K E. And now for our mutual, musical guest, New Chords on the Block.
Welcome to Wizards Got Talent, the only reality show where we see how talented the wizards in the world are. Here's our judges. First up, we have Fraz, the Wizard of Spaz. Hello, I'm Fraz, the Wizard of Spaz. I'm a very seasoned wizard, so I don't know if these young ones will be capable of much. Probably nothing more than a fizzle. Up next we have Quimbly, the quiet wizard of the quiet realm. And how hegemonic uh, sexism affects the performance. Uh, last but not least we have... Hi. I'm Greg. Greg, the wizard of... Um... Wizardry. Greg, the wizard of wizardry. Hi, Mom. Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Draco, Draco the Dragon. Uh, I was summoned by the wizard Bibbidi Boop uh, for his act, but uh, I ate him. So I'm kind of here by myself. Uh, I'm going to do some interpretive dance. Thank you. I haven't seen something so terrible since the powerful Tiamat destroyed my realm and stomped my village to bits. Thank you. I know it's hard to show the vulnerability of yourself sometimes. What you did here is going to send shockwaves to everyone. And here to present uh, a most heartfelt uh, eulogy, close friend and confidant of dear Brad, I welcome Thad. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> How's everybody doing tonight? <laughs> right, 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 not good, not good. Cool, cool. Ah, I understand this is a hard time for us all, but not as hard as the time I got kicked out of 7-Eleven for stealing cigarettes. <laughs> hey yo! <laughs> no? Okay, okay. Just don't tell my parole officer. Anyway, I get it. I miss Brad too. Heck. He still owes me five bucks. <laughs> and he borrowed my copy of Fight Club. <laughs> well, geez, looks like somebody's a hater. <laughs> it looks like they're going to miss out on trivia time. Woo! Thank you. Thank you. Ah. All right, guys, I'll give you one chance to guess what material this casket is made out of. Um, oak? Bah, wrong, <laughs> wrong, wrong, wrong. <laughs> it's made of morning wood. <laughs> hey -o. Get it? Like morning? Like Brad's dead, and we're mourning him. You need to leave. And you look like I need another drink. <laughs> Zinger. <laughs> Thank you. I'll be here all night. So, uh, anyway.
<laughs> I was talking to my baby mama the other day, and uh, <laughs> who am I kidding? <laughs> I don't talk to her. <laughs> Uh, no. Friends and family, I, I must exercise my deepest apologies. I'm sorry. For sorry for what? Party rocking? LMFAO! Every day I'm shuffling. Good night.